Welcome to Game of the Game New Gear Podcast. I'm Bragg. I'm here with Jake. Hello. And Lachlan. Yeah. Hello. I'm here with Bragg. I too am here with Bragg. <laughs> We're all here with Bragg. And Hosmer. <laughs> For the listeners at home, he just touched my leg. But not where far... you would expect. We won't say how far he was sitting away from me and how long his arm is. It's very long. I have the longest arm. The second longest appendage on my body. Torso. Yes. He does have a long torso. I yes. have a very long And he's torso. bearing his torso out for the, the it's listeners. so hot. <laughs> is it? I'm drinking coffee. You want some, <laughs> you want some coffee? <laughs> Hey, get out of here. Take your fucking dog. <laughs> Taxi! <laughs> I don't know where we're going with this, but how was that week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, Jack. It was waffle. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. I called up Donny. I said, <laughs> I said Tony, hey, Tony, Tony, I said, hey, Tony. <laughs> hey, get me the fucking invoked, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 um, it was not a great week. Um, I think. Wait, no, because it... Jesse won a locals. Yeah. Okay. Oh so... shit! I didn't. Did I know about this? We just talked about it then. Wow. Yeah. So on Sunday, <laughs> my deck just went no, not today, and it just didn't do a thing. Um, which indirectly led to Jesse having won for the first time this year, and admittedly the last time this year. He does not have a great track record. Um, but then on Sunday, on Sunday I did win, and I got like fifteen packs of OTS. Mm-hmm. I pulled one ulti, and it was the worst one. Which and was... then Lozo, who forgot to get his pack earlier, <laughs> pulled the Nibiru in the next pack. But we we don't know where from the pack he pulled the card. Yeah, I'm not saying that so I was guaranteed I to get, the, get Nibiru, the Nibiru, but still, I'm upset. It's like, a higher chance of getting the Nibiru. Of all the no, three... it's less chance. Of all the three that I won, of, of the OTS, that's the only one that I did not want. I would be happy with the Super Poly, I'd be ecstatic oh, with the Nibiru. I always forget about Super Poly, because that card's so irrelevant. At the moment, it is, yeah. And when it becomes relevant again... Please... <laughs> Don't do it. I'm a virgin. Actually, it could see play very soon because Eldritch have the um, fusion coming out. So then the zombie Eldritch variant could become a thing. The zombie Eldritch variant with Super Poly is already kind of busted. Yeah. You can just link away. Well, you already had like, a, oh, you have two monsters. I now have a 3k dragon. No, no, no. You no respond. Bye bye. <laughs> And also, I've discarded a Mizuki, so if you don't kill me this turn, then you're dead I next turn. I kill you. <laughs> I kill you! <laughs> anyway. Like, how was your week in New Year? Ooh, Ooh flip the script! I mean, usually I like going over my non-week in Yu-Gi-Oh! And then transitioning into the next segment. Okay. But here we are. Well, I fucked that up. <laughs> uh, my week in Yu-Gi-Oh! was quite poor. Uh, wait, no, it was good. I've been streaming heaps. It's been awesome hanging out with the... Hanging out with the viewers, hanging out with the listeners. Yeah. Uh, Edwin, been massive in there, Hypersonic. Paul Pelican's been tuning in at the end of streams, I think, when he finishes work. Yeah. I think he jumps into the streams. It's been awesome having them guys in there. Plus, we've made a bunch of new new friends on, yeah. on stream. So that's been awesome. Uh, we've been streaming on Twitch. We used to stream over here, but streaming on YouTube is dead most of the time. Like, unless you're already quite large, streaming on YouTube doesn't bring in new viewers, which is what... You know, we want to do. You can't have us to yourselves forever. We do eventually want a few more fans, I think. Um, but yeah, streaming on Twitch has been a really fun time. I'm going to see if we can expand the crew a Maybe edit bit. them down, maybe? That's been the plan. It's just, they're long streams. I've been streaming for like three and a half hours. They have been very long streams. Yeah. Uh, now I've got a little bit of free time on my hand. I'll see what I can do. Well, yeah, I've done a few. I'll hand one off to you and then I'll do the other. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I'll give you the Loza one because you can pick out what's actually funny. Though. Oh, yeah, actually, that would be a really good one. That yeah. was really, like, from what I saw, it was really good. That was a really fun stream. We just built a deck that only gained life points and we played it on stream. We ruined Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> um, uh, we... we had a lot of fun. You can go watch the video, which will be up in the next month. You are ready to <laughs> scoop. Because the game had gone so long, you assumed it was game three. Yep. I almost just 
quit the game, and then I admitted defeat and realized it was only game two, and I had won game one against Drytron with my only life point gain deck. <laughs> <laughs> Drytron can't out Fire Prison. They, they can't actually out it. If you have Link Reaver on board, they know out Fire Prison. <laughs> they play Phoenix, though, don't they? It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> That's that, then. They can, they can only pop one Fire Prison, not two. Well, I only get one normal a turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, but that's been super fun. I've been playing a bunch of Yesenju on stream as well. Um, let's see if I can... Maybe, if the comments say something, we could get Bragg to hop in a stream with me. And we'll play some Cosmo. Yeah, we'll play some modern Cosmo. That'd be fun. Actually, there's a cool modern Cosmo? No, yeah. no, there like, was a... Well, yeah, there's like a Cosmo three weeks ago, there was a me. Trap Cosmo deck going around that played like the Dragon... Something or other, yeah. something, something, blah, blah, blah. That. You talk about the one that summons back from Banished, yeah? Yeah. 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 And then it, bounces it, back to hand at the end phase. So, like... Yeah, yeah, this card was definitely around. Yeah, this card's been around for a year and a half. Yeah, yeah, I know. It yeah. came out in a thing, though, as a style, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. I still don't... I, it's just... Me and Cosmo are better left to early 2016. Yeah, but Ghost Tricks flipped them down. <laughs> 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 um, we'll see if we can get Jacon to play uh, something else. <laughs> Pendulum, um, Pendulum Magician. Yeah, yeah, we we'll could. Play some we Pendulum can compromise Magician. on. Yeah, because I don't like most of the decks you play. You yeah. don't like any of the decks that I play. <laughs> I'd play some pure Mech Knight just to be that cunt. But you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, I'm sitting right here. Just... <laughs> God, I'm like... To be fair, I was that cunt when I was playing Infernoble Handrip. Stop like, calling me a cunt! <laughs> no, no, I was the cunt. Anyway. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to do that. It's essentially a far newer variant of an old, not too old, but an old video we did, which is uh, Deck and Chill. Oh, yeah, sick. Oh, yeah, that was a thing. Which is, you know, really fun. I definitely recorded one of those and then never sent it to you. Because nope. I hated my face in it. Um... <laughs> Here's another thing. For the first ones, why don't we just make the theme of them like trying to revitalize an old deck? Yeah. That'd so be like fun. do it with Bragg with Cosmo and or I know a different deck that he used to play. You played lots of different <gasps> Trent Turbo. We totally put Trent in something. Alright, no no no. We we move, we move, we move. But yeah, I'm gonna do it with <laughs> Andrew and we're gonna play Magic Spectre. I'm not watching that. <laughs> Wait, Electromite's gone. I hold my head. Something wrong. Electromite dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, but we'll play some decks. We'll play some decks. Tune in. Uh, it's just uh, you twitch.tv forward slash team C for G. So go hit us up with a follow. 30 more followers. What's what we're aiming for? We want 50 by the in next two weeks. Yeah. And for my week in Yu Gi Oh! Alright. Is this the week I went through a box? No, that might be like that might be the week before. Otherwise, oh yeah, I had I hit Ooh. level fifty in Pokemon Go. This king, oh, yes. excellent. First Yu-Gi-Oh person team. in the entire world. No, first person in Wollongong. Yes, yes, king, my guy. This is my oh, guy. So now that that grind is over, it will go back to a reasonable amount of play, like it was in the early part of the year, and I can juggle a card game again. And yeah. which card game it is, though? Yeah, Digimon try to Digivolve so, so here's the thing <laughs> I'm toting that this will probably go the same way that Oh Digimon Yeah Oh 100% it'll, No It'll be Digimon, the same as Star Wars Right at the top yeah. It'll be the same as Keyforge By GME It'll be the same as Flesh and Blood hey, Keyforge The, the, the well, well, You well. can't rope Star Wars into those two We held a regionals One regionals uh, Flesh and Blood had a $10,000 old mate ruined <laughs> But, but flesh and, like, I'm talking originals at, like, Wollongong. Yeah. Yeah, but Flesh and Blood did have a 10k. But not at Wollongong. What I'm, the fuck about Wollongong? I'm saying that... <laughs> no one. So there's only one Flesh and Blood tournament. There were multiple Star Wars Destiny tournaments. It was an active scene. Sure, but do you think all those tournaments added up to $10,000? Well, no. 
There we go. More money put into Flesh and Blood. Yeah. Flesh and Blood One. sucked, by the way. Whose fucking idea was it that you'd have to open packs to make a deck every time you play it? Is that, that, how, is that's, that how that's how Forge. Yeah, that's Keyforge. <laughs> Keyforge fucking sucks, by the way. <laughs> Whose idea was it that you'd have to open packs every time you want to fucking play? Um, An only sealed deck. Nah, but only like, sealed format. What I the rate, fuck? Uh, like, uh, Final Fantasy, Dragon Ball... Well, Final, both, did, both Dragon Balls. We didn't know, but Final Fantasy has, uh, like, a Locals. Uh, yeah, there's like, yeah, yeah, there's like six there's people. There's like six people to show up. Yeah. That's more than we get for our Locals sometimes. Yeah, however, yeah. the card game in general is dying because they went, like, the Bowsette route and just started making characters female and sexy that were never female and sexy. Unlike the pro Yu-Gi-Oh strats are making them female and six. <laughs> 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 I wish this was somehow a joke It is not It's a cry for help The game I like Is becoming Pedo bait Look yeah. unfortunately like, With card art Recently It's either Dragon like, Or six yeah, year old that's it It's dragon Sometimes or both. child <laughs> Oh no Dragon maids Oh no I want to ah. play dragon maids too They're so fun <laughs> But like I ain't catching the case bro Um <laughs> But yeah That's not like So Digimon, I don't think we're going to get... I mean, maybe there is a world that it does expand and we have... It's a good scene and a good card game. No lollies in Digimon? No. Uh, no, no lollies? No fucking... No they dragons? They are 100% going to make perverted cards. No, no, no. No dragons? Have you ever seen Lady Devimon? Have you ever seen Anja Woman? Huh? Isn't that the cactus? Cactus is the only one I know, bro. I don't know Digimon for shit. Um, Maybe don't comment on things you don't know. Fuck. I would never comment <laughs> He's been on maintaining anything. Maintaining it's the best. <laughs> no, no, no. I do. I still do like Digimon more than anything else. However, even Lilymon. Oh yeah, no. I, 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 and and also the um, you have a That's the evolution of the cactus. You should know this. <laughs> also, you have. What do you think I call it? The cactus. I know them off sight, <laughs> bro. I was retarded. As a 23-year-old, I don't know this shit. <laughs> We're going to watch the reboot series. But, um... Hey, Brad, remember when we had the whole thing yeah. on YouTube and you made me wait a week and then it got removed? <laughs> we couldn't watch it anymore? And you were like, we'll watch it together. Bang and I do. <laughs> it's good! <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, did, when did you see this? the original series? Back in Connor. Oh. Yeah, the original series was on <laughs> YouTube. Okay, so when I suggested to you earlier this week, in my head, this is the first time I suggested... Us watching it. I have not recognised it. We watched um, like 20 episodes. It, no, what, oh wait, of um, oh you're talking about original, not That's reboot. what I, I said original. Oh, I thought you said, sorry. Um, if it's helpful, if you do want to watch the original, I do have the Oh no, I've got it On too. VHS? No. Fuck. How will we play it in no, our modern media? Got, I've also got the second series of like the Armour Digivolution. Yeah. And oh, that's the thing, like I, I was... Yeah. Look, would you guys be interested in Digimon content? We're going to give it to you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Speed Duels. Hey, for a t- two and a half weeks, we were the premier channel on YouTube for Speed Duels content. There's a couple of good Speed Duels formats um, being teased with just Battle City cards. I'm interested. We still need to do we that. We need to do that. Yeah, we, do. It, it, we just need to figure out the camera setup for it. It's quite odd. Yeah. yeah like, I'm... I think it's going to be a three cam setup again. I've got two now. Only two. Well, like, well, uh, uh, if we're doing like full, like for pre-record setup, yeah, we can do that. I mean, I've got two webcams now, so we can nearly do a, you know, OBS. one half of your face on either cam, and then you put them together. Otherwise, <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I assume Digimon's going to be a casual thing. Pokemon, I am seriously looking at, but it all depends on how keen out the other guys around here are. What for Pokemon TCG? Yeah. Yeah. And then obviously I want to do PvP and stuff. So like, Pogo is still going to be a big thing I do. But I have spare time again. It's not just grinding. But we move on. We move. We did all third state locals. How about that? That's quite... That's yeah. rare for new... And we didn't start well, it till 8 o'clock. Yeah, it was pretty close to 8 o'clock. And we About still finished five minutes earlier before than before Brad walked in. I didn't have brain kids on me anyway. I don't know if... I don't have... I don't know if I've been through the prank kids deck since the ban list. What, what did you have that got banned? Yeah. There's probably something in there that's changed. Right? Absolutely not. 
No. Maybe to make it better because the fanless didn't fucking touch you. Perhaps called by. Nah. No, no, no. Called by. No, called by was already at one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was too. I wanted to come back. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think any team, anything changed for you. Cool, why has to come back to two? Soon. Has to, has to come back to three. Also, it's been like a month since our last ban list video. Uh, since the ban list, we've got we've got something about a new ban list video. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just too bored to think about ban lists at the moment. Um. Also, we're gonna figure out we ban um, the uh, the price prediction thing. Yeah, there. we'll do another. <gasps> oh, and we can. We, oh, we need to record it soon. Like, mm-hmm. we. Oh, fuck you. Oh. We need to record it soon so we can just put a bunch of, like, the stock shit oh. over it. And we'll be like, they're, they're short in the Yu-Gi-Oh! market. Bye, bye, bye. Hold! <laughs> I might have just closed the wrong tab. All you have to do is hold Golden Lords. Mm. Hold, <laughs> hold, you hold. You set the price. Oh, yeah, that's what, that's what the logo's going back, because he wants the fucking the Golden Lord cards. Mm. Otherwise... He we finally got to see the War Rocks. Um, I called it, by the way. Called by the grey bit. No, fucking wish. No, I called that they would be warriors and not rocks. Yeah, I'm a bit disappointed. I was kind of keen to they see. Should have been warrior rocks. Like, no, they shouldn't have. Would have <laughs> killed them for once. Well, maybe for the seventh time to make a rock archetype. What do you mean? We've got trimids. Yeah, so I said seven. <laughs> yeah, but... Name me you... six other rock arc types, then we'll get back to... Glocky Miru. Uh, Emancipator. Well, Glocky Miru is um, not just rocks, though. It's mostly Predominantly rock. Predominantly rock. Uh... Uh, what else is there? Um, Gorgons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Gorgons. Mm-hmm. Trimads. Mm-hmm. Um, Emancipator. Stop Googling it. I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> um, the Magnet Warriors. Admancipated crystals? You fuck. They're the same. <laughs> nah, different. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is these should have been rocks. We're, uh, up, to, we're up to five. Hey? No, hold, no, <laughs> fuck off. No, we're no, done. I'm not going to say point anything. Point proven. No, 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 I'm not going to say anything. What do you mean, point proven? I did it without Google. Chronomaly? Chronomaly. Uh, yeah, but they were a Mate, rock. look at how many there they are. They hybrid, though. There was other shit that weren't rocks in that archetype. Dugustos? No. What? No. <laughs> Emeralds... <laughs> and the jars, maybe. Do, 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 do. No, do, do, do. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, hey. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Da, 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 da. yeah Did you guys ever, like, go... when you Like, back go in the old days, day. wait... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> back in the old days, you'd, like, when you'd, you know, you'd want to make a deck and you'd be like, oh, I like this card, so I'm going to find a way to put it in my deck, instead of just being like, oh, I'm going to lose. So, I've put good card in my deck. Do you guys ever go like, oh man, is there a way to search this card? And you'd go to the tips page. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, and it's it would always Dogu! be this fucking card. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Dogu. You little fucking <laughs> this, this rat. This card can be searched by Dogu. Dogu. And that's and watch every a cat with the, in, um, a cat with a little moment. Yeah. Yeah, Roman. yeah could search any trap. <laughs> yeah. If Necro Valley was on the field. During the end phase, if this card's in the graveyard because it was sent there by an opponent's card... Effect this turn. While in your possession, you can add from your deck to your hand one monster with a different level from the monsters you control and the monsters in your graveyard. So it adds any monster. But your opponent has to send it with a card effect. Yeah. yeah. Also, elephants. What? There's elephants. What, the fucking Statue of Disaster and yeah. the Statue... Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Evil Swarm? No. Fossil Kick Dragon? Oh, yeah, the fossil dragons. Fossil yeah. diner? No, fossil diner's not That's an archetype. archetype. Actually, just fossils. Magnet warriors? Just fossils. He's already said the magnet warriors. Gem knights? Oh, yeah. How do we wait long enough for gem knights? <laughs> Bro, I went through so <laughs> much. That's the most relevant deck that's ever existed. As I maintain, the seventh. I'd say there's at least seven. Like, we had to Google two of them. Otherwise... My god, the artwork on is kind of freaky. Uh, do we want to talk you about it at all? Uh, we can. Do, we'll go the gist of them. If, uh, if they're bad, if anyone in the if anyone in, on the team likes it, we'll might run through it in a different video. But um, I, Andrew's I, playing I, my Utens at the moment, so he might want to do a video on them. Apparently, he's doing well with my Utens too. I don't want to compete with. I refuse uh, to say my Utens. Mutants. 
but that's yes. copyright infringement. I don't wanna I don't wanna conflict with X Men. LB what? plays no. um LB plays as a mutant deck profile. Because I am an actual duck. <laughs> <laughs> and this gets more views than the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> more dislikes, though. People don't like that duck. Poor LB duck. Quack, quack. Because they don't remember him being on sitting ducks. Quacky moo. Do we still... Oh, tell me we still have sitting ducks as the yeah, yeah. intro. Yes! Da, can't da, wait da, da, till da, da, we can't put good. any mu- any ads on these old ones when we hit a thousand because we put this coffee it, it, shit in. It doesn't get How do we not... How did we never get hit for, like, Danger Zone? <laughs> well, I mean... Look, I'm not talking about it here. Otherwise. <laughs> who's, um, who's yeah, so, uh, once again, it's another Battle Phase-based deck. And just... I'm keen on Battle... Like, we've definitely covered this before. I'm definitely keen on more Battle Phase-oriented stuff, but they need to do something to make it relevant. Yep. What they needed to do was have the field card protect them from card destruction. Yeah. <laughs> you're not going to turn it up at all oh yeah I just didn't want to ruin it's all like banishing so shifter and gamma made sense onto the spells three lab and three fusion what seems the okay hell is this? And one blast yeah, well, I, didn't, I didn't watch the link I sent dimensional fisher is cheesy yum yum and gold sarkandy tell me help this? with consistency <laughs> and extra for that? card advantage Here's the Jap cards. Sorry, Reddit. <laughs> Macro Cosmos is cool. Extra deck is brainless. I don't have a side deck because I am an actual duck, so I cannot play locals. Thank you for watching. Please like, the... comment, and subscribe. <laughs> we just deleted the fucking deck. <laughs> but yeah, do you see the channel what? on? The fuck is this? This is on Logan's channel. <laughs> what the fuck? He made it. And just had the, the login information to Logan's channel. So Wait, you uploaded? Yeah. <laughs> Jake, this was three months ago. Do you think he I checked... posted this in the chat like three times? Okay, but let's be real. Do you think I honestly check yeah. Logan's page for updates? It has fifty views. <laughs> yeah, at least five of them are you. Well, at the least, yes. Uh, but at the most, maybe uh, all of them. That hurts, my, <laughs> that hurts my brain. I can't believe that's actual content on an actual page. Hey, LB Duck is... Uh, I think we should poach him for the channel. <laughs> well, do, uh, can we do a podcast like that entirely? Uh, oh, God, no. Uh, and then anyway, we're off that. Uh, so then we talked about the rest of the TCG exclusives from. Or did we only talk about the, the free agent stuff? We didn't talk about the. We didn't talk about the ritual. No, I don't so think hot the ritual has been announced yet. It really isn't. The ritual is kind of bad. Yeah, it's a damn shame because it's in the same vein as that one that you like. What ritual? The fucking. The oh, Battle yeah. Fader one. The wind. Yeah, because. Shino you know Baron. Uh, Baron. Then they just made a generic wind. Ritual uh, spell card for no reason. Yeah, literally does, no reason. It does the, nothing and besides does, and that. doesn't have the ritual logo. Yeah, it also doesn't yeah, have the ritual logo. So it makes bizarre, no sense. Which means it's not searchable by a lot. Well, to be fair, they're probably just going to release it and be like, eventually it'll have the ritual logo. Like when Thesius came out and it was like oh, purple card in the main deck because it doesn't say fusion on it, and they were like, no, shut the fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> like no, it's still a fusion card. This is still probably a ritual card. If it isn't. My lord, that's funny. If they just gave him a normal spell that's only effect is to ritual summon, but it's not a ritual card. <laughs> That'd be so fucking dumb. <laughs> uh, they gave Synchros and uh, Pendulums a way to Synchro and Pendulum off turn with trap cards. Kind of... The Synchro oh, one, I understand. Yes. The Pendulum one is awful. Yeah. Like, what deck... What is out there... That is good enough to actually pendulum someone off turn. And actually gain advantage. Because the, th- the thing... I was discussing this with Lockman the other day. Because of the amount of restrictions that are placed on that card to actually do that. And on there's pendulums no, in general. There's no deck, pendulum deck that I know of, that actually gets that much advantage of being able to pendulum someone off turn. Yeah. Can I read the card real quick? 
Do you want me to read it out? Because it's like... Yes, read it out, please. It's like, like... Yeah, do that. Normal trap card. During your opponent's main phase, you can discard one card. See? Oh, then sorry. immediately after this they card... They hate resolves, Pendulum! <laughs> pendulum summon a Pendulum Monsters. Also for the rest of this turn. After this card resolves, cards in your Pendulum Zones cannot activate their effects or be destroyed by your own card effects. Also shuffle them into the deck during the end phase. <laughs> So discard, Bro. you can't activate... You can only activate one per turn, though. Only activate one per turn. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> what? Well, these days, most Pendulum decks are going to struggle to have a card in hand at the end of their turn anyway, so, like, the fucking discard cost is already a joke. Yeah. Then the fact that you can't even destroy the scales to, like, get a Wavering Eyes effect off before they fucking shovel themselves into the deck is fucking retarded. This is so bad. You can't even summon the Pendulum fucking Yosenji monsters. <laughs> And that's like the only deck, literally the only Pendulum deck that you would want to summon off turn. Yeah. Because then they'd go back there instead and you get the bounces. Like, it's, it's the only good Pendulum deck for this to be in. So all this means is that there's a Pendulum deck gonna come out that makes it good. For sure, definitely, yes. <laughs> well, there is a Pendulum deck that's coming out. It's bad though. And we don't know what, we don't know what it does. We know what one card does. Do we? It says be bad. Shut up, you fucking... Oh, <laughs> uh, and then... So that was it for the, basically all the TCG exclusives. For 17... 19, sorry, in, like, exclusive cards. A lot of disappointment. All Zero bad. Good. One of them are bad. And even the one that's not bad is not good. Yeah. Which is the okay one? Ah, uh, Psychic Eraser Laser. It's, such a, it's, it's a good card just for that name. It's that and the fucking... The, like, what is it, Gigatankosaurus or some shit? The... Oh, the rhinoceros looking thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, bro, they're just like, fuck it, we'd name shit cool. Psychic <laughs> Razor Laser. That'd be a rapper's name from the 90s. Uh, and then the virtual world was the OCG import. That yeah, we that card's fucking good. Is it? Yes. It says, it says good. Plus the trap as well. Do you want to read it? Yeah. If you control no monsters, level 6 by the way, or all monsters you control are psychic and or wound monsters, you can normally summon this card without tributing. If this card's in your graveyard, you can discard one psychic or wound monster, special summon this card as a tuner, but banish it when it leaves the field. Also for the rest of the turn, you can only summon level or rank 3 or higher monsters. You can only use this effect of Odahime once per turn. Really good. It says play through anything. Yeah. Have level 6. Tuna. It's a level 6 tuna, which is super relevant to... Yeah. You want your tuners to be the level 6s. You don't want them to be the 3s. For Nyan. For Nyan Nyan. Nyan Nyan. And the trap's really good too. It enables the handwrit variant. Oh, so that, first, yeah, so that first effect doesn't matter. It's all no. I mean, to be fair, it is a normal summon that the deck didn't have. Yeah. A normal summon level 6 tuna, that's really decent. Uh, I think... It doesn't become a tuna oh, when it's sorry? not summoned. Oh, okay. Well, just being a normal summon, still, like, anything that says normal summon is good. Because they can't, they don't run anything that, that normal summons. They just normal summon out of necessity sometimes when they brick, and having an actual normal summon is, like, okay for them. A level 6 normal summon is actually kind of good. Yeah. You can make, um... There's other decks that could yeah. utilize that. Yeah, uh, Hazy Flame. <laughs> I mean, all jokes aside, it doesn't lock you into VWs or anything, does it? The normal it's summon? Just... No. You just have to control no monsters. Yeah. So or the rest of Psychic and Worms. Yeah, which all the hazy flames are. Yeah. Are they? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so, I mean, there we go. No, no wing designator. And, oh, um, <laughs> on I, on I hazy completely flame, forgot. Things have to be level 6 fire monsters. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> Basilcock has failed us. Um, just make Ultimize up and fuck it. So yeah, no Nobleman Designator and what would have been the remix oh my of an God. old favourite spell like spell card me. is uh, reinforced, like the reinforcement of the army one. It's and that so, card is so bad. bad. So it's just, if you're in the battle phase, you're supposed to summon monster from hand, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, at level four or lower. And I think it has some restriction on it too, right? I think it, the monster you summon can't even attack or some shit. Yeah, I, I lost the effect. It's like, once you do this, you have to... Kiss your sister on the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if, if, they're play, if they're playing that card, that's not a cost. <laughs> what? Well, yeah, because they they're dumb enough to anyway. play the card. Otherwise. 
Alabama. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Shout out to all of our Alabama listeners. Alabama, sorry. Alabama. Alabama. Uh, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we Shout just got them angry. Ex-president <laughs> listeners. Except for Trump. Uh, apparently for da, 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 apparently for the American TCG Lightning Overdrive will be delayed. No. Oh no. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all of their pro- so all you. of their products been delayed like at least yeah. three weeks after. Release. So why are they announcing stuff ahead? Like, what could they be running into now? Like that isn't the scene. <clears throat> They've made like six good cards to last them the year and they had all of them there and then they were like we'll just make better cards later and they're getting to the point where that is supposed to ship and they still haven't made the good cards for the later set so they've got to take some out and put in trash yeah <laughs> put them in the cupboard <laughs> maybe that's where that um warrior support card came from because maybe they were hoping to like get to a point where they could actually host tournaments and things and like put that in to revitalise the game a little bit but then like UK went to shit um, like if only the there was some country on. that was doing quite well, or some region of the game that was doing quite well and could definitely host events, hmm. like Fiji. Yeah, Fiji is Fiji actually doing well? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I want to see how my Fijians doing. Hey, shout out to you, <laughs> Fiji COVID. It's not exactly on the topic of you yeah, but like they're doing alright. They have like they've approved a, a vaccine here in Australia, right? Yeah, and they're meant to be rolling it out real soon, right? Somewhat. Fiji had like fifty-five cases ever. Yeah, so yeah. Fiji's doing great. What's the SPG? Fiji regionals. <laughs> Fiji sounds kind of fun to say. It sounds like it a. Uh, it sounds like a say. virtual world card. <laughs> <laughs> virtual world. Uh, Fiji. <laughs> Also, you know, CG News, we're getting a, a win-based duelist pack. Well, as the resident win-based duelist, <laughs> which is to say the only win-based duelist outside of Andrew with Magic Spectre. I summon a crystal wing along. Basically, all we know about, it's, it's called duelist pack. Uh, duels from the whirlwind or some shit? Yep. Uh... Duelist's Whirlwind. Have you played every have you played every attribute? Me? Yeah. No, I haven't played Divine Beast. Sure. I mean the other one. Create a god or whatever. So I mean I should have gone without the natural ones. What oh, is the other one? Um, what is the other one? What is the other so one? Fire within for Nurgle. What have we done in I haven't played Light. Yeah. I played Dark. Because yeah, that's Pendulum Magician. The dark and uh, Dark yeah. but isn't Oh, just the natural Earth, one? Earth, Earth, yeah. Ah, uh, Earth. 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 Um. Have you ever played an Earth deck? I can't think of a single Damn, Earth deck. He hasn't, he hasn't completed it. Otherwise, back to your wind based shenanigans. Oh, yeah, yeah. Duelists from Whirlwind. I've said this wrong four times now. <laughs> Duelists of Whirlwind, I believe it's what it's actually being translated to currently. But, um. We'll change it. It is a Duelist pack coming out. Um. Duelist packs, uh, those little like five card packs. It's like Secret Slayers, essentially, uh, right? No, it's no, like um, it's like the raw pack. Oh, it's like the raw pack. That's going to offer support for three wind based archetypes that were used in the anime. Mm-hmm. Um, so going off of that, there are a few it could be harpies, harpies. <laughs> Which I actually think is a decent shout because well, Tarpy Tri Brigade is really two, good. They've had like two Jules packs in the special thing. Um, Harpies don't deserve any more. And I say there's a former Harpy player. Um, what's another win one that could they throw out there? Speedroids. Oh, Speedroids is getting more, aren't they? Yeah, that has to be it. Yeah, 100%. Oh, God. They're, they're a definite. Oh, dear Jesus. What, what's wrong with Speedroids? But they only got heaps, see? And they yeah, but got, none of it does anything. But they got some... Yeah, true. Like, true. put te- put Terror Top back at three and they'll do everything. Yes. But they won't. Let's put Terror Top back at three. <laughs> Your face was fucking frightening. And then... <laughs> I'm, I'm never going to sell the Terror Tops. <laughs> well, yeah. Did you end up selling the Toads to Luke? What? 
Yeah, yeah. Alti Toads. No. No. Alti's oh, frogs. Sorry. Alti oh, God, no. No, I'm never getting rid of them. Okay. So, um, there's a few decks. Yeah. Uh, from DM, could be Harpies. From, you know, Bull Monsters or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Cloudians. Uh, yes, because uh, we and we talked wait, about aren't this. They water? They're mostly wind, like they're clouds. The the one card you're thinking of is water. Yes, you're thinking uh, the fog one. I was certain they were all water. No, they're wind. Um, Stardust. Oh, I didn't think about that. All the Stardust monsters are wind. This person's no, put. Are they gone? Are they gone? I... Yeah, maybe. I mean, they've just reprinted it to fuckery, like. Um, this person's put black wings here because it's a deck of bout wind. Shut the fuck up. Like, <laughs> uh, Zexa literally has I nothing wind. Where no. I think Jake's on the right path here. That most cloudy ends of water. It. Uh, <laughs> it's not wind decks. They said wind strategies. Yeah, but wind Which, is in all caps. Which means that they're talking about the attribute. From Arc 5, Arc V, which one do you say? Arc V. Arc 5, Speedroids. <laughs> um, Wind Witches. Lyrilusks. Lyrilus, yep. Ooh, they're, they're, uh, they're possible. Assault Blackwings, which are wind. Are they? Yep. I Battle they Wasps. Also dark. Battle oh, Wasps. God. Bees! <laughs> you send you. I think it's your Senju. When you said you has to be one. I wonder why. I'm pretty... Well, here's why. It's because I want it to be your Senju. <laughs> but here's why my confirmation bias is working, right? It's because... The it's going to be your Senju's. <laughs> right? What, what, what is more popular than your Senju's on that list? Almost Arby's, everything. Speed Roy, Stardust. Stardust isn't a real deck. Not yet. Speed Roy's sure. Harpy's... Yes. Just got a oh, yeah, pack a couple of years ago. Yeah. I would love for it to be Harpies, but it's also three, I mean, right? Um, Lyrilusk would be good. Windwitch just got new Wind, cards. Windwitch and Speedroy, but that just feels like it's because they like to go from three different, like three different shows, right? If I'm thinking, yeah, they wouldn't do it all from one series. So, so what series was he send you in? Arc five. So it's speed, so speed roads. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> and battle wasps. Wait, was Lyric Blast in four or five? It was in five. Five. Yeah, I was. Gonna, I thought. I thought it was only. By four, I mean Zaxel. So wait. Jesus, they had. Was, to... was battle wasps in five days, or was it just like one of the throwaway archetypes in Arc Five? It was in Arc Five. Okay. That that show had like because everyone had an archetype pretty much. Yeah. It's actually, like, they're kind of doing it now when, like, they're doing, like, the Sunvine and Sun Avalon. Yeah. Where they're going back and redoing them. There's some really, like, kind of cool but also fucked up decks that they could do from that whole series. That show was so interesting. Like, the dude that was playing Abyss Actors towards the end, he started with Perform Age. Yeah. Like, yeah. an entirely fleshed out archetype of Perform Age. Yeah. <laughs> You know what's interesting about that dude is that in the in the manga, he played three decks. He played Abyss Actors. He played Yosenju and he played Dino Mist. What? He had three decks. The, the guy who... Would, really? Why? Because it's a different dude. Like, that character in the manga got split off to two different people. Oh, because you... Cause you uh, cause in the the Because Yosenju guy's like... Not the Chaz character, but like he kind of becomes a pussy and then they bring in that guy, the Perform Age guy. Yeah, yeah. In the manga, it's the same dude. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Um, because the dude doesn't... It, like, neither of those people exist in the anime... Uh, in the manga. They, they have just, just been split. So you bring this up... Yeah. Because you play Dynamis, you play <laughs> Senju, and you had a very strong interest in Abyss Actors for a time... I, I still would if Abyss Actors got a little bit more support. Uh, they're I, not very... I but honestly... here's the thing. It's like... It's like the... the uh, it's like the Snake Rain is ruining Reptile, right? If Abyss, if Abyss Actors got any better, they would ruin shit. Like, 
They, they, they have everything except like two pieces. I don't know what those two pieces have to be, but they're so close. This feels like give Dino Mist a link to the searches howling all over no, again. Link, the no, 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 but like, no, no, you've seen one. it. <laughs> it. It's, it's, it's real. They have, like, their back row is like, especially in a, like, back row sort of, you want to remove back row sort of format. There's one that just, wouldn't destroy, just draw five cards. It's, yeah. What the fuck? It's, it is actually like, almost really forward thinking, the amount of different, avenues that that deck has like each deck has an eff- like, sorry each back row has an effect where it has an effect if you activate it but then it also has an effect if it's destroyed yeah and then the deck eventually had a mechanic to make your opponent destroy your own back row yeah the the field spell yeah, yeah. and then it had like a mr steal your girl card where you just mm. fucking thieve yeah don't forget waking the dragon can summon from the main deck also yes you can make them suffer like it, it, it's a good deck. It's a good deck. It's just... It struggles for some reason. It's got the Link 1 that I want Dynamis to have, essentially. And Did, it just struggles. The reason it struggles is because it's Pendulum. Yeah. And it's Restricted Pendulum, unlike Pendulum Magician, mm-hmm. where you can get all your searches off, but you can summon anything mm-hmm. you want. Once you start searching in Abyss Actor, that is all you're doing. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah. Um, but yeah, those are... That's... Yeah, why I bought it up. But I think Yosenju will get it. My, my picks are Yosenju, Speedroid, and... Actually, you know what? Speedroid's not going to get it. Here's why. Because they won that sh- they won that thing, didn't they? What thing? And they got that terrible card, like Block and Roll, or whatever. What? Block and Load. They won what? Didn't they win our version of the Creator card in the OCG? Did they? And they got, like, three cards, and they're all terrible. Yeah, probably. That makes sense why, like, why I'm aware of them. Do you remember the Speedroid Ultra that came out in, I think, Rise of the Duelist that was terrible? I knew they had support lately, so that would make oh, sense. Oh, that I was thing. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was their creator card thing, right? I might be talking about my ass here, but I'm pretty sure that was the creator card. I mean, at the end of the day, they've received the support in the last. Yeah, years. so maybe not Fuck Speedroid. Them. I'd give it probably. I don't think Lyra Lusk will get it because. I don't know. Why? Like, I just don't think anyone plays Lyra Lusk. I'm just trying to think if there's like any so I'd give it to Harpies Yosenju archetypes that I'm not thinking of and then either Stardust did, did you get the, the or I think Stardust they're, they're Battle Wasps um what's Battle Wasps are also very close to being a good deck was I know it sounds shit but in apparently not in like a, nothing showed up I said nothing past um Fire Arc 5 what's the most recent think? season with the links and the stuff and the surfboard and the oh, Brains yeah there are no wind monsters in brains. Well, uh, there was a wind archetype, but it wasn't all that. Has it been popular. released yet? Yeah, no, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't a deck that like oh you can just add support to it like it has nothing. Yeah. Otherwise. But yeah, that should be pretty cool. Yeah. Let us know in the comments what wind uh, wind monsters you think are going to get a jaws pack. Let's make a whole deck of Rajin. Wind also has the most. Um, <laughs> Like, the Wind Channeler chick is out. And that's like... In a deck that wants to summon many different types of... Like, many different attributes. It is extremely restrictive to only Wind. So maybe it could just be more support for that. Like, I can't see any other reason that they'd even fucking release that card. It is kind of weird that it's a Charmer card, but then it, like, completely goes... Hard locks you into that attribute. Yeah. You can't activate effects or summon cards with different attributes than, than the one you've added off it. So it is quite odd, but... Yeah. Yeah. Well, on that note, let's wrap it up. Do Should we have do any comments? Some comments real quick. Let's do comments. Because huh? we've been a while without comments. Um, Dr. Hypersonic says, Give me your fucking content! <laughs> Here we are. We're here. That's We're one of my favourite content. vines, by the way. Give me that, your like, fucking money! <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's so good. Um, then he wrote some stuff about how you can get activations of the damage yeah. step. Thank you for the corrections. Because, I mean, we, you are... Well, not a correction. Thank you for answering the question that yeah. Bob, I'm pretty sure was posing out. TLDR, what do you say? 
We're wrong. But that I there still is don't a, believe it. <laughs> that there is a thing to say that you can negate. Activation. Not in the rule book, but Oh no no no. I thought he was talking about like that you said, Oh, can you chain to something if it's not first, right? Does yes, it... they cannot activate effects in response to your trigger effects. Yeah. yeah. That's the Yosenju question I was asking. The other one is about yeah. negating in the damage step. Yeah. Which, yes, I understand that you can. It's just that it's not fucking written anywhere. <laughs> Currently. Yeah. That's that thing, right? Like, it has to be written somewhere for it to be ruled on, right? Why can't they just... Well, you say just, that, It's, it's like, one thing. Just add a line of text to the rule book. So, but like, if you look at common law, quite often there may not be a specific written thing to explain a certain situation, but then they'll set precedent. They'll say, in this case, yeah. this happened, therefore it should happen in this case. That's the thing. Like, it's, it was definitely like written up in Upper Deck, like official rulings. I think there's like one of Konami saying it in a ruling. So it's, it is acknowledged on paper, but it's not in a fucking rule book. It would be very helpful if they printed a fucking rule book. Could you imagine how big the yu gi oh book would be if they ever printed it with an entire encyclopedic It doesn't matter. I want of it. Rulings. Give me it. Give I me mean, a of, fucking rule book. Rulings, like, <laughs> I mean, uh, I know that they've like, they tried the problem solving card text. I'm sure this is the second They one. fucked it up. Give us PSD 2. Yeah. Hey, what's coming? Uh, yes. He said, regarding remote duels and events, I'd say Konami can do way better promoting their remote duels. Hard agree. Uh, I love the extravaganza and had tons of fun. I also had a lot of fun playing with Hypersonic on the Discord. Join it. So they've been playing on the Discord. That's heaps sick. Yeah, that's really good. That's awesome. I really Wait, like on that. On Discord in general or on our Discord? On, on our Discord. Discord. Fucking what? Yeah, that's awesome. We can do that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like in the way remote duels do, does it. Well, they just put a camera towards their stuff and then they, they play. On our Discord? Yeah, on our Discord. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Maybe we do a video, maybe. Um, I do not understand why Konami thinks it's a good idea to announce their remote duels so late, though. Yesterday, mm. and this dates the comment, on the 21st, they announced a remote duel for the 23rd and 24th. <laughs> they should announce it at least a week in advance. I also do not understand how they select regions for these events. Last time, it was EU, NA, and Latin America... The event that takes place this weekend is for NA and Latin America only. Why? No idea. It's so strange considering the European events attracted the most people last time around. Mm. So why would you leave that region out this time? I would. These say, are excellent questions. I I'm, I I wish there was a bit more transparency there, because I'm sure that there this their European office might 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 be wrapped up in something, especially with the increase in cases and stuff. Um, like that's the only reason I can imagine, but at least say, oh yeah, we're, we're planning on doing like EU's next remote jewel is coming soon. Stay tuned. At least acknowledge why it's not happening. I bet that because it's such a new division, they had to just get some stuff from somewhere to fill it. And who they got was a guy named Keith and Keith is a fucking moron. Keith beats his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Keith. 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 Keithy. Keith for something. <laughs> Any from the Discord? Yeah, we got a bunch from the Discord. They're actually really good questions. A uh, few from Edwin. <laughs> but Edwin's a, Edwin's a G on the Discord. Tier 3 sub. A G. Yeah, he's a tier 3 <laughs> sub. Never did I expect to, someone, <laughs> to hear someone question whether Amsterdam is a country. <laughs> oh, shit, did I leave that in? <laughs> <laughs> If We're not dumb. <laughs> if you ever get into a Discord voice chat with me, I will teach you how to pronounce Utrecht. Lamau. We're still not right? Utrecht. Fuck. Utrecht. Well, did I leave that to in too? Oh, to God. be fair, I... Man, you'd be getting sloppy. Like... <laughs> um, to be fair, I was in the thing the other day. He... I was like... Is this in reply to the podcast? I don't remember you... Or was this on a live stream? No, this is on the podcast. No, we've definitely done it on the podcast. Yeah. We question. Wait, like, was, hold on. Like, yeah, the in last, is in the last few thing. weeks? Yeah. Oh my god. This is this was written on the 20th. Alright. Um, what people in Netherlands speak, which is Dutch, is different than what Germans speak, which is Deutsch. Yeah. And I knew that, and he was impressed. Uh, also, Ryu, Kish- Ryu Kishin's OCG name is Gargoyle. 
Oh, well, I mean, it makes sense. It looks like one. But yes, Ryu means dragon in Japanese. We had some multicultural and, podcast shit going on. And there. what does Kishin mean again? Is gargoyle. Just Kishin is gargoyle. Mm. Oh, <laughs> so, okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Um, he put the kanji there. He said, interestingly enough, Red Eyes uses that kanji in its OCG name, but Blue Eyes uses Tatsu, which is old Japanese. I wonder... Uh, they, they must be like... Maybe they're just made by different people. Back when Konami had multiple people working for them on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Instead uh, of one dude in Shed. I mean... <laughs> There's at least four in that Shed. That's rude. Yeah, but it's only room for one. Was there no... <laughs> the rest have to stand. Was there no Red Eyes in the original card game? <laughs> there might not have been, actually. And I'm, by original card game, I mean, like, like the Bandai Ben on Emco cards. Yeah. Possibly not. Because, I mean, that's maybe why they carried over... Um, Blue Eyes' name just to keep consistency. That or maybe the maybe the classic text evokes some sort of cultural thing that I don't understand. Yeah. It might have something to do with the actual monster itself. Like maybe it alludes to something. Gives a reverence because Blue Eyes is a overprinted piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> I am very jealous of your trilingualness. I can barely speak one language. Um, anyway, that's not English. Uh, Zinthonian. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, said, not sure if it was said somewhere, or no, I just didn't notice, or uh, here, but what's up with the new outro music? <laughs> <laughs> Thought it was just a one time thing for how weird the last one got. Dot, dot, dot. It's not bad. Just wondering. Uh, <laughs> We're just vibing out here. Just type sitting ducks into YouTube. It's, a, it's an old Canadian TV show. It's pretty good. Um, and I know you figured it out as well as said it wasn't Foucault's canon, but I think that's the better match, or at least a combo of that and Dragon. Yeah. Um, and when said, random guess, they want to share the summer vibe since it's currently summer in Australia. You're wrong. <laughs> We're referencing Sitting Ducks. The hit TV show with 19 episodes from 2000 that, to that, 2001. Did you just call it 2000 and zero? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want from to the year 20,000. <laughs> 20 years. 20,000 and zero. <laughs> um, did it really only have 19 episodes? I think it had 18, actually. I'm wrong. Oh. Yes. Fuck, I've got that recorded. Sitting Ducks has been arg and we didn't even realise. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently. Oh, wait, no. Vainsed. Vainsed. Vainsed is the one that got cut short. I thought all of them get cut short, right? And then they ju- try to jump to a new anime. Because mm. GF got cut short as well. Good or shit. Well, <laughs> and I've just realised... Oh, no. Maybe... The, uh, or do you mean like the original? Like, so the, bye the bye, Japanese bye, 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 bye. Yeah, well, they cut... The entire gotcha, yeah, yeah. thing I shot. Because every English one is cut. Yeah, I know yeah. that GX and stuff have had stuff cut in the um, dubbed version. Yeah, gotcha. All in the same way. Uh, I just realised I was reading from the video discussion and not from the podcast questions. We only have one from the podcast questions, though. Okay. Rye Guy, what's your favourite gimmick deck? Ooh, I know my answer to this question. The only gimmick deck, gimmick puppets. Oh, shut the fuck up. No. Um, I like seven... Venomanaga. Mm. Yeah, sure. Uh, what's yours, Jake? Skeleton Mill. And this what the I... fuck was that? That was someone dying outside. Thank God someone else heard that. <laughs> that was like terrifying. I wonder if the audio picked that up. That was someone dying. Yeah. Mm. Rest in peace, random lady on the street. <laughs> <laughs> She got eaten by the crocodile. No, crocodile don't eat, bro. (laughs) I've never really thought about what gimmicks I pick up on. That's been so. Oh, do the words Trent Turbo not come to mind? Well, that was. Have you ever played a deck deck. that isn't a gimmick? (laughs) (laughs) You own the the gimmick, bro. I see. He's calling you out. Well, what do you mean? Look, Bragg, I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay. Ah, yeah, good, 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 good. Well done. He's leaving. Um, wait, what do you mean by gimmick? Like, so is Prank Kids a gimmick? 
No, because that's a, a deck with like yeah. a built-in win con. So exactly. like decks that are just like kind of stupid to play, they have a stupid win con. So like Skeleton Mill. Where yeah, like yeah, my, exactly. But so what's he talking about? If we knew the answer to that, we wouldn't have half the problems that we did. Yeah, true. True. <laughs> Hold on, you can fuck off. Godzilla's better than King Kong. We're throw down right here. Let's go, Monk. <laughs> no way. Ah, oh, you. Of Stick course, you, of course, you like fucking King Kong. You piece of shit. That's it, brag. I was gonna nuke him. It's a nuclear lizard. Nuclear. It's a nuclear lizard. <laughs> You, you have no right. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you, sir? How dare you stand where you stood? Uh, <laughs> I was going to get out the machete and say it's yeah, machete time, but I couldn't find it. Um, oh, that's right. You give me, 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 give me. I got nothing. Well, you've never <laughs> played <laughs> like a joke deck. <laughs> so it was because tr- right, Trent Turbo was just a control deck. Every other deck has been a normal deck. What is a gimmick deck? It has a stupid wing con, basically. Wing con, it does something cool. So, Stairway to Heaven is your gimmick deck, for sure. Oh, yeah, Stairway to Heaven. Or Dynamis Combo. That's not a gimmick. It's close. It's really not. If you said Trent, Dynamis Combo. I didn't say Trent, though. I said he said Trent. Oh. And I said Trent. So, if I said Trent, then Dynamis Combo. Look, Trent didn't really, like, win games. It just... Existed on the field. It just I means stop them from winning, and then they would cry. Good time. Crying <laughs> gimmick. <laughs> That's gonna really bug me now. Oh, I got no answer. This you've way. never played a gimmick deck. This is why you don't enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh because you've never played a gimmick. Brax gonna sit on the couch for the next thirty minutes and go this gimmick. Gimmick. And then he's gonna come up with an answer that's gonna be good, and he's gonna forget it before the next podcast. Is Dark Water gimmick? No. Not really, it's that's what it does. Yeah. I got nothing. I got nothing. Oh well. On that note, more questions in the podcast questions channel and Yes, we'll read from that channel next time for sure. And also the YouTube comments is always a good place. Or email us at teamcfg.com. Hit us up on twitch.tv slash teamcfg. Yeah, Team C for G. We made it back in the team days. And also me slash brag yo. Yeah. Some more. Hit a brag. Yeah, there we go. We're well, since we're self-promoting, buy houses from me. <laughs> <laughs> also, buy shares in GameStop. I don't think you need to tell people to do that. We no. actually already own. Tell them to buy from the mine. The mystic mine. Back into mine. Thanks, bye. <laughs> <laughs>